Welcome back everyone, coming into this next picture featuring the perspective from Sissy's point of view this time. We are at the slaughterhouse and before I get into the lighting topic, uh, let's go over here and look at the blood. Now most of the video footage that we've seen with Leatherface and Hitchhiker, of course, this very well may have changed as their development cycle is not final. But right here on the right hand side, you can see that Sissy can harvest more blood than uh, some of the other killers that we've seen, both in screenshots and in video. And you can see over here on the right, just to clarify it, she can hold up to 120 in blood total. And then she would take that over to Grandpa, feed it to him and contribute to his perks over there on the right side. Now, getting into the lighting, this is really cool if it works the way that I'm thinking in my head. So it's completely daylight. This is the Slaughterhouse map. Now, you see here how Sissy is uh, shaded with the environment she's in very well, right? You can hardly see her. Now, if you were outside of the shed and Sissy was just standing in here in the shed, like kind of not where she's at, but maybe towards the back or the middle of the shed, if you were standing like, you know, kind of a distance away from the shed looking in, I wonder if you wouldn't even be able to see her at all. Like you could potentially go running into the shed and she's just right there and you wouldn't notice her until you kind of got either really close or almost into the shed because of the way she's lit in there. The, the sunlight kind of keeps you from looking in. So, you know, just like in real life, if you had a shed that was just there's no light in it and you're walking towards it, all you're going to see is this black silhouette of an opening of the shed until you get close enough to where you can kind of see inside at the contents that are actually inside the shed. This is really this could be really cool with the lighting, potentially having characters just hiding out in the open until you are almost too close to danger to figure out what's going on so that's and you know that works for both light and dark so you know for example if it's dark and you have a spotlight shining in your face you're not really going to be able to see what's behind the spotlight there's no way to really be aware of what lies beyond the darkness because of all the light in your face so that would be an interesting take on the lighting if it works this way all around the board. This picture takes place in the middle of a match, uh, just like the last picture with Sunny. Sissy is up here during the middle of the match, making sure the victims don't escape the premises once they've left the basement below. Now I know some folks in the community are not really enjoying the drip feeding of screenshots and I can understand that, you know, you can only get your appetite wet so much before you start kind of feeling the the strain of really wanting to play this game i know how it is but you know that's just the way that guns marketing you guys we have to go with it i personally don't mind it because i've seen the way some haunted houses like to tease their you know their audience as october starts to get closer and closer and they drip feed stuff now with haunted houses and other certain types of horror media you know they're when they're going to release their stuff because you have to wait till october whereas with these video games you just don't know it's all up in the air you don't know when it's going to be released i think it's kind of cool that we get these little sneak peeks on a weekly basis it's a lot more than what most developers do most developers kind of just they don't say anything they keep their head down until it's almost time for the game to come out and then they start kind of going balls out with their marketing i totally don't mind this method of marketing because they're, you know they're being open and they're giving us little bits and pieces in between the development processes not a lot of developers do that i know everybody's patience is you know it's just is what it is but we're getting there you guys we're getting there soon we'll be playing this we only have a little bit of time left there's only less than a year left before we get it. So, you know, it is what it is. We all have to wait. But in the end, we're going to be playing it pretty soon. Until the next screenshot and or the video, you know, for the last couple of months on the 9th, we've been getting a video. So 
keep your eyes open two more days is the ninth i don't know for 100 percent sure if we're gonna get another video but you know just keep your eyes open i'll be here dropping the content as usual i'll see you guys later have a good one i can't wait for this be good see you later